Megan Southern met a friend last Thursday in an Old Port bar. She says when her friend left, two strangers started talking with her and kept asking her to leave with them, even though she kept saying no. In her Facebook post, she says, I woke up today on the morning of my 30th birthday in the ER after being slipped roofies at a bar last night. She says it happened when she wasn't looking, writing, quote, I am sitting full sideways in my chair, not even paying attention to my drink on the counter. Stupid mistake, apparently. I grabbed it at some point and continued to drink it. She says at midnight, she began to feel sick to her stomach and headed to the bathroom. She says those 10 steps are all I could manage before collapsing on the bathroom floor. She called her boyfriend for help, and this is how he found her. He immediately called 911. Megan says, I remember hearing the paramedic calmly tell me they believe I've been roofied, but I was too far gone for any comprehension. That's ridiculous. It's a bit crazy. It's not something that, you, that is okay. These tourists say they're shocked to learn this happened in a safe city like Portland. It's very scummy. It's gross. It's definitely something that you have to stay cautious of. So, of course, staying cautious of drinks, um, but definitely now stay extra cautious. Portland police say Megan wasn't the only victim at that bar that night. Police are investigating and reviewing video of both incidents. Megan says, I'm absolutely disgusted and appalled at the amount of women who are either commenting or direct messaging me that this has happened to them or someone they know. There was absolutely zero chance of me walking out of that bar. If I had left with someone like he wanted, I'm not exactly sure how the night would have gone, although I have a terrible idea. Megan Southern says she plans to push for tougher laws in Maine for people who do this. Police say the likely charge for drugging someone without their consent is aggravated reckless conduct, punishable by up to 10 years in prison. In Portland, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.